Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of How to Miro. In this video, we'll take a look at the various export options available in Miro. So let's dive in. The first one, first of all, to export your board or at least the contents of your board, uh, you can click on this icon over here, which is export this board. And here we have a few options. One is you can save the contents as an image. You can save it as a PDF. Um, you can download the board backup. Um, and you can export your board as um, a spreadsheet. So export the contents as into a spreadsheet. And of course you have a different options as well, um, like save to Google Drive for example. Um, but that is not sort of, it depends on whether you have the add-on or not. Uh, but this definitely you should have uh, the options. Uh, now some of these features are available only in a pro account uh, or a paid account, uh, but not in the free version. So you have limited options in the free version. Anywho, let's take a look at these various options uh, and then this will give you an idea of how you can export the contents of your board. The first option is save as image. If I click on save as image, I can select the area that I want to save and I have these few options here. So let's say if I want to save this as a medium image and click on export, what it'll do is this will export the selected area has an image and if I click on the image you should see that it has exported that exact frame has the image. Now depending on how big your board was or and what was the size of the image you may or may not be able to see the text very clearly in this case. Uh, the size of the elements were quite big uh, and so therefore you were able to see the text very clearly. So that's number one. The second option is to save as PDF. When I click on that, it tells me that this board does not have a frame and it needs a frame so that it can export each frame as an individual page in the PDF. So let's create this frame, wrap this content around and now let me click on save as PDF and I can again two options. Uh, let me just select the best quality one and click on export. This has exported a PDF. Uh, let me click on it and I can see that the PDF has this frame. So it has the contents and of course you can whatever content you want to export you can in, you can group that or you can place that into a frame and then just click on export as PDF and it will get exported as a PDF. The third option that we'll take a look at is download board backup. So let me click on that and that will download a file and if I look at the file uh, that is of a .rtb extension. So now unfortunately this is not something that we can just click on and view what the backup is um, but this file if you save it into any of the cloud storage for example or in any other place you can then import it while creating a new board and that will basically just import the contents from this file into a new board so that's that's a nice way and nice option to have the fourth option is export to spreadsheet which is a csv file if i click on that it has downloaded a csv and now when I click on the CSV, you can see that the contents from those notes uh, and, and from uh, the way basically all the text elements that were there in that uh, in that board is exported in, in this CSV um, as each row is one basically a text element. So you get the content at least, but of course you don't get the gist of the board. So if you have added uh, like those images, for example, that did not and because it's a CSV, it really could not come as a it could not be exported. Uh, so but at least you have all the text elements so you're not losing the data that you that you have put in your mirror board. So that's another option. So those are the four options that we've taken a look at. Save as image, save as PDF, 
download the board backup which is its own extension and then you can re-import it later and then the fourth option was export to a spreadsheet so these were the four export options that we took a look at today I hope you found this video useful if you did please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you are notified about all the future videos that I'll be posting on this channel and of course do not also forget uh, to share this video with your friends with your family and with your network whoever this video might be useful for thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for any other videos to come in the future see ya